there was never a SpongeBob VHS player. So, we need one that fits this setup. And I have it right there in that box. Welcome home, Rat Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And I also have the developer of the first ever media platform. She taught the guy who made LaserDisc how to laser. Damn. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. VCR, flip. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you remember that when the TV would make you think you were having some kind of weird sleep paralysis dream? Oh, I thought that was just me. <laughs> I thought the shadow guy was my father. <laughs> but this is back in the days of video at home. There's even a time card down here. I mean, this is really at home. Everybody my age's childhood videos had one of those little timestamps at the bottom. Yeah, I don't even have any. Do you have any at home videos of yourself still? Um, yeah, but none that I will ever show. You're lucky you have them. I have like the ones that were really small that you had to like put inside something else to even play on a normal VHS player. So I think they all just got lost because of that. If you guys have any at home videos, let me know if you guys have kept those over the years. But today we are going to be getting getting into VHS because if we come on over to here in the Spongebob media collection we have everything pretty much from the 90s to 2000s era. We got the PlayStation 2 which covers most games. We still probably should get a GameCube because there are some games that we can't play that are on GameCube. So we have the PS2 which is perfect for playing PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 1 games and it also does DVDs. We have the Spongebob karaoke player which is perfect for CDs. We even have a DVD player alone over there and this thing has all the cords to use any plug-in place and we have the monitor right here that we can plug in anything else extra as well and hey we even got the video now now so we can play video now disc now now but the one thing we don't have that we always find and get sent over is VHS tapes there's no way for us to play VHS tapes in this room and that is just a sin if anything because this room needs to have a VHS player and I did some research I looked everywhere, under every stone, even Patrick's, I know that's where Spongebob usually hides. <laughs> There was never a SpongeBob VHS player. Really? That seems like something they'd do. There's SpongeBob bath loofahs, there's SpongeBob toothbrushes, there's SpongeBob makeup, there's everything but a VHS player. So, we need one that fits this setup. And I have it right there in that box. Yeah, yes, the box says small, but the contents are very, very big. And it also doesn't have books in it. I don't know why it says books. So today, we're gonna be working on building our very own VHS player to go over in that setup. And I looked all all over, um, well, I just looked on YouTube at reviews, and I found <laughs> the best VHS player that's under $200 that money can buy. We're gonna be popping this thing open, making sure it works, and then we're gonna be customizing it so that way it fits over here in this setup. Let's go ahead and get it open. What's wrong with that knife? Oh, that knife, this one's stupid. This knife's smart. It went to college! Okay, so here we go. This isn't your mama's RCA VHS player, Parker. No, it's not. She still has it. How do you know I didn't steal it? I guess I don't. She probably check on her. I found some family tapes you don't want to see in there, man. Who do you think is the one who filmed it? God damn! <laughs> if you know what I saw, that's disgusting. But this is a Japanese made in Japan. Toyota. That's what Japanese means. It's not Toyota. That's what Japanese means. I got the remote to it. I don't know if we're going to customize the remote, but look at that set. Light tower. You know what light towers do? They bring ships into the harbor. Okay. <laughs> Look how freaking thick that was, man. It actually feels pretty, pretty nice. That feels so much more defined. That thing was like a home phone. <laughs> I want to go grab my other remote, but I don't feel like walking all the way inside. But <laughs> compared to like a little Samsung rinky dink keychain yeah, remote. Yeah, they're all like Slim Jinnies. Yeah, man. I'm talking about a beef stick. This thing right here, man. You feel like the man of the house. <laughs> I'm watching telly. But this right here is a four. Forehead VHS player. I did a little research, you know, you guys that are VHS files, you guys might have a lot more information on it, but for my research, a forehead is about as good as it gets when it comes to <laughs> for VHS. my budget. Yeah, but this, they can get this thing brand new for like $300. This one's used. What? What do you mean brand new? People sell brand new VHS players and they're so expensive. That is ridiculous. So, we are going to customize this thing. It does have a little dent here, but that's okay because we're going to be customizing this whole thing. We're going to try and make it yellow and kind of fit in with that setup over there. Let's just make sure this guy works first. It's already hot. Silence. 
we have to use this plug. It's the only plug available. And there was somebody who complained about the sound of that little fan. You're you know kidding. how hot it is in here? We have this most silent fan available. Literally, I went out of my way to find the quietest fan possible. So I'm sorry if you can lightly hear it in the background. But we dying over here. This is what it would look like if we didn't have that little fan on. Welcome to hell, Rep Pack. It's your boy Melted Ice Cream here, back on the ground. <laughs> All right, let's plug it in. We don't need to see everything. Like, you know, we just gotta see that the screen comes on and we are good. It looks pretty clean in there. It was refurbished, so it should be working fine. Dude, there's somebody who refurbishes one of the oldest media players. Like, that's crazy. There's probably people out there that refurbish gramophones. But that's more of a specialty. This is just outdated. In two more years, <laughs> this will be a specialty, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but we gotta go to Home Depot. Let's hop in the car. All right, guys, we are at Home Depot. Go ahead and point over to Home Depot. There's a dad carrying some soil this is as good as it gets home depot the land of dads but we're gonna be going to dad note right now because we also need some stuff for renovating the room a little bit so let's get in there and see what we can get okay guys so we got everything from home depot we're gonna be heading back right now this shelf right here is for the cartoon network room we might have to work on that today as well but we're gonna take all this back and we're gonna get started on the vhs player it's gonna be an awesome experience i can't wait to spongebobify this thing and actually play some spongebob vhs as soon as we start to collect some more okay guys so we are back we got all of our paint right here so this white spray paint is gonna be for up here so all of this wood paneling except for the top top roof I'm actually gonna be making white that way we can start to really expand in this section and keep things looking nice and clean but anyway today we're gonna be painting this guy and we're gonna be basing it off of the Spongebob DVD player but the way we're gonna be doing this one is we're gonna be copying it as much as we can so I think we should make this right here the door for the VHS tapes green okay. leave yeah yeah leave this one window right here we gotta leave that black right yeah because you know it's still see. a device yeah and then we'll paint all of the individual buttons the green that we have and then the rest of it goes yellow except for the sides we're gonna do a stripe of green going all the way to the back and the back we're gonna leave completely black because we don't want to mess up any of these electronic components with any kind of paint so I think we should get started on it Parker's gonna be working on this shelf while I get the paint done on this guy and it is really hot so I mean I just have to hit the like button but maybe follow me on Instagram too things get pretty hot over there posted a picture of plankton not that long ago he's pretty hot x-rated yeah <laughs> Okay guys, so we just got done with the taping and I taped up the buttons and the VHS like exit. So I'm hoping that everything stays the way it is. I do not recommend doing this way. You could take off all the pieces and that'd probably be safer, but I don't know how to put it back together. So we're just gonna hope to God that none of this paint gets inside of the VCR and breaks it. Let's go outside and add our first coat, which is gonna be white. So that way we don't have to do too much painting when we add the yellow. If we do yellow first, it's gonna be like three, four coats. Let's start with white. All right, let's get one good look at it. And here it goes. Okay, so we're gonna do that as one coat because we're not in a rush here. We just want this to come out good. So that's gonna be our first base coat, but we're gonna do one more coat of white after that. We're gonna put this guy in the sun so it can dry. We're gonna go work on some other stuff for you guys. And then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna spray paint it again, add our yellow, and then we can work on the green. All right, coat number two, let's do it. Why are you covering your mouth? I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna be adding the yellow and right here we have sunburst yellow We looked through all the yellows and this is the closest Spongebob-y yellow we could find This is gonna be what we go with and then we're gonna do all the buttons green But those are all taped off for right now once it's all yellow We're gonna retape it to cover all the yellow and then paint the green The yellow we got to be really careful with because it can easily start dripping white is a little bit easier to blend in yellow is a little bit well bright <laughs> Very vivid color. They did not look good in yellow. The spider webs? No. Yeah, the yellow is not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so that is it for our first coat of yellow. I don't want to go too thick. I want to cover it up because a part of me wants to just get it done because I'm excited. But we got to go nice and slow so we can get this thing done perfectly in the best way possible. So let's go ahead and close this up. Tomorrow morning, we'll go ahead and spray that thing up with one more coat of yellow. And then we're going to get on with our day and do some other stuff. But then at the end of the day, we're going to tape the buttons up so we can get those green. And it's probably going to be like a couple day process. So make sure you smash that like button if you guys haven't already. But anyway, for you guys, it'll be a snap. But for us, it's going to be a, a lot of fumes. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right guys, so we have the VCR actually done and painted. This thing came out great. I did a pretty good job taping it, so hopefully nothing bad happened to it. We're gonna take all that tape off and see the much cleaner look. It's gonna be really satisfying as well. And the paint came out pretty good considering it's like an uncontrolled environment. So I'm really happy that it came out great. Let's go ahead and get inside and get started on the next part. Okay guys, so we're gonna take all the tape off right now. We're gonna spend too much time on it, so this will be fast forwarded for you guys. If there's any residue, it's okay because all those buttons are gonna be green anyway. Let's do it, let's do it. So that came out good, this came out good. Everything looks pretty damn good. So now all we have to do is tape everything but those things, and then we gotta paint those green. Except for the monitor, obviously. Gotta keep that monitor nice and clean. Okay, so the tape is already on it, as you guys can see. So, I mean, pretty much all we have to do is just make sure this thing looks all green by the end of it. All right, so we're gonna let that sit for just a little bit. I think we might do one more coat so that way it's a really nice thick layer so it's just like the yellow paint. And then we're gonna spray it with some semi-gloss clear coat to make it all wrapped up. And then we're gonna unveil it all. Okay guys, so we have it inside now. It is dry. We're gonna take off all this tape and do the reveal. Hopefully it came out cool. I'm not really sure. We're trying to figure it out right now. Let's do this. Do this. Okay, so we have finished and dude, check it out. I mean, for it not being a SpongeBob branded VHS player, this is damn near perfect. I agree. <laughs> we modeled it off of the SpongeBob DVD player. That would have like green stripes on the side, so I wanted to do something similar. Obviously, we couldn't make ours 3D, but I wanted to give it something dynamic, so I put a little stripe in it, so at least it felt like there was some texture there. And this thing came out great. The only thing I have to do, I'm, I'm gonna be ordering some actual like decals for all of the buttons here. I already took a picture of what all the buttons said, before before we painted it. So that way I can have all the correct buttons on there as well. I mean, it'd even be cool if I could find some kind of SpongeBob font and maybe print out the decals like that as well. We'll see what happens next with that. But let's set up the VHS player and see if it works. And of course I have a perfect VHS to put in this guy. Okay, we got the audio going. There we go. They were kind and they rewind. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's actually rewinded already. This is incredible, dude. We are watching a VHS right now in 2022. That to me, that's insane. Honestly, it is. Yeah. See Timmy Battle Ninjas, aliens. We left your planet in peace. And his most feared enemy, the Super Gas Vicky. But there it is, guys. Boom. We got it going. We have a VHS now in the setup so we can play DVDs. We can play PlayStation games. We can play freaking VHS. The only thing I think we need now, dude, is a Wii because we can play GameCube and we can play Wii games. And that covers like all the 2000s because the PlayStation covers pretty much everything that was on Xbox. True. But there's a lot we can't do on Nintendo. Very true. So we need to get a Wii because that'll cover GameCube and also cover late 2000s with the Wii stuff as well. That's so like every form of media in the 90s, 2000. So it's like laser disc. We're not getting that. But guys, let's give ourselves a round of applause. Mark, clap. You gotta clap. Yeah, I can feel that one. All right, we did it, guys. Can't believe we have it. You know this drill. Scan it. Scan it. The power is within. What's that? The comfort cartoon hands. 
<laughs> so guys, we have it set up now. I am in love with this setup. I absolutely love the way the VHS player came out. I already know that I'm gonna be playing some old school VHSs. I actually found this guy online a few years ago, which is actually someone's old school blank VHS that has SpongeBob on it. It's got Aqua Teen. It's got As Told by Ginger. It's got Adult Swim and Nickelodeon. They changed the channel middle way and we're recording it. That's awesome. It's amazing. So I'm definitely gonna be putting this guy into there a little bit later for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe if you're new here. If you guys ever want to send any old VHS tapes to fan mail, again, that is on screen. And if we find any other ones at Goodwill, we got thrifting, or if we go to a flea market, we're definitely gonna be using that from now on. But check out this video screen right here, which is the last epic video on this channel. I know you guys are gonna love it. And also look forward to fan mail soon on World. If you guys haven't checked that out, it might already be out, so go check that out. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloopers. Bloopers.